Let me tell you a quick story. I used to wake up, grab my phone, and instantly feel behind. You know that dreaded feeling? Email notifications, WhatsApp, messages, a spinning list of things that I had forgotten to do. But the first time I spent just 10 minutes the night before prepping in Obsidian, everything's changed. I went to bed with a plan, I got to work on it overnight, woke up with clarity, and for once, my day started on my terms, not the world's, not in reactive, proactive. If you want mornings like this, you're in the right place. Today, I'll walk you through the exact night before prep system I use in Obsidian, live with you. We fill in the steps, which are as follows, four steps together, and you'll get a checklist to keep forever. Sound good? Is that good enough of a promise? All right, let's start. But why does this matter, right? Why should you do something like this, use Obsidian or any other tool to think about it? Here's why. Productivity doesn't start in the morning. Far from it, it actually starts the night before. And that's the key distinction that most experts never really talk about. Most planning routines are built on hustle, on stress, on pushing yourself to the limits. This one is about calm. It's about confidence and connection. So you never wake up lost again. Four steps. Blank, so you can stay tuned, and we're going to be revealing them one at a time. As we go along, I want you to guess, to comment, fill in the missing pieces of what you think is part of the system. Ready? Okay, let's go ahead and get the party started. Okay, step one. Create your night, what is it, before note system here. What are we looking at when it comes to a night before? Three priorities. What are the number one or two, three things that you're doing? What are you going to let go of? What must you do tomorrow? And what are you grateful for? So I'm going to give you a moment to pause for myself. Go ahead, comment. What's one thing that you would prioritize for tomorrow? Even writing one single priority here is going to cascade and give you a domino. In fact, I don't know if you knew this, but a domino is powerful enough to topple one that's twice its size. So let's take some notes here. Points to consider. We've got dominoes, ability to topple another twice its size. And just think about that. That's a 2x return. One thing you could do here is write priority one, priority two, priority three. What are you letting go of? Letting go of feelings, things, projects, people. What must you do? The distinction here is undeniably you have to do it no matter what, right? So I'm going to fix my little typo here. And then gratitude. What are you grateful for? So start doing this and you start actually priming yourself and getting into moving forward and fast. Cool. Sound good? Sound good? All right. Let's continue. Once you've done that, you've got it going. Step number two is about connecting your... Let's reveal this together. What are we actually connecting? You're connecting your plans and intentions. So we're going to put here plans and intentions to your daily actions, which I don't think came up here, actions and routine. So here's the, here's the situation. When your night before prep is linked directly to your daily notes, when you know your intentions, daily actions, and routine, now, as the saying goes, we're cooking. And the way you do that is by creating a little template called your night before prep template. Always update. This is an evolve. But here's what we're going to do. This element here, instead of us creating it manually, we're actually going to link it to this template. And what I'm going to do here is command D so I can delete items. And I think I like the idea of having a one, two, three. What I do here is I just simply go through like some quick shortcuts. 
I'm going to have a little list here of things I like to do. Awesome. So now I have this as a template. And by the way, this is a complete theme vault. So you start seeing, but the real power inside of using this is when we can go ahead and create ourselves a daily note template, daily note template. And what's in your daily, your daily note template? Well, for now, I know I want to be able to create a night before prep template. And this isn't quite the video. We're going to make that into a separate video, but you're going to need some kind of starter note. So if you don't have anything or you're looking for something that's better than what you're using, start simple, start, start with a way of taking your ideas, seeing them, having some kind of template, but for now, Let's just suffice it to say that it has a link to that. So when I can connect my plans, which I've already created here in this note prep template, right, which has the three priorities. And what I did, by the way, was press command so I can pull this up and it's connected to a daily note. So I'm going to go over here inside of Obsidian. If it's not activated, you can go into daily notes and go ahead and set it up so that you can put in your daily note and for template, what we're going to do is say night before prep template just for now. I could then command pvis type in my daily note. And now I've got, uh, today's date ISO formatted with my three priorities. But again, this is going to be for tomorrow's daily note. So I could say something like night before prep. So this could be say six, 26, 25. Cool. And I have it there. And what I can do, but anyway, I just wanted to show you the thinking, right? We won't get too much into specifics here, but what you start doing here is now you've actually got a way of creating, of building, of starting to see your direction. Okay. Step three, what do we do there? We're going to head and create everything in a way that's smoother, but this is almost always skipped. It's important you prep your physical and digital environments, clean your desks, Put away and remove all browser tabs. I like to use this one, one tab. It's a Chrome extension that I can easily collapse and bring together a lot of open tabs. But the key here of what we're doing is you're setting out to define what you need for tomorrow. So some ideas of what to put in here. You've got a journal, maybe your water, your workout clothes. Set yourself up for success. Then what happens is you're automating the action and thinking about it overnight. So the benefit here, wake up primed, ready to go versus starting and spending, wasting time in the morning. Try to figure this out. It's simple, but do you do it? Right. So let me prompt you and ask you this. What's one thing you can prep tonight that would make tomorrow easier? I'd like for you to share that in the comments below. Share it. What's the one thing that you could f feel would make tomorrow easier? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this because this is a really powerful question. And finally, what do we do at the end here? We review, we celebrate and carry forward. So now that you've actually have this little process in practice and you're giving yourself this tiny ritual, go ahead and review what you're finished, celebrate your wins and carry any unfinished actions to tomorrow. This is actually leveraging a lot of the tiny habits research with BJ Fogg, because what's happening here is you take a tiny ritual that closes these mental loops. So what are we doing here? We're closing mental loops 
lowering anxiety, helping you rest. Celebration. Celebrate good time. Even one checkbox. What does it do? What does it do? That's momentum, self-trust. You start reinforcing the identifying self that's actually moving forward, that's excited, that's able to do and create with gratitude. What do I do? I like notes of gratitude. This is how I like to celebrate. Dance parties. Dancing with my sad elf. And watching cool pictures of stuff like puppies, kittens, penguins, penguins, like different animals, different animals. But what about yourself? I'd like to ask you to answer below if any of this resonates. How do you celebrate your, your wins? Let me know. I'd love to see what you're carrying forward. So what have we talked about today? What's the big recap? I know we went a little bit. I showed you how to install a daily note and how to set that up as your template. But we talked about preparing your night before. And the way you do that is when you connect your plan or to tomorrow's actions. Preparing your space, think creating space. And then the reviewing and celebrating you carry over. The real payoff, what really happens when you start doing this stuff, if it feels like you're doubting and you're thinking, oh, should I do this, should I not? You're not just waking up organized, you're actually gonna be confident with your best ideas. Because when you start building, what we're doing here is we're regulating our nervous system. We're getting to a point where we feel balanced, we're at a baseline level, and we're starting to set up the challenges that excite us, that make us do our best work, and we start moving forward. But I'd love to see how you set this up. Let me switch back here so I get to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Drop your favorite prompt. What is it? Or, or tag me in the comment below. What setup worked for you? What would like, you like to take this and and build in your life as you're starting to build consistency in your routines and your actions. I'd love to feature some of the best setups in future videos and of course share with you my full ritual pack if this is something that's of note. Ready to take this further? Download your free night before checklist. This is just one of many templates below. Print it, use it, start incorporating it into Obsidian and just or simply still the ideas we talked about today. I want to start showing you how to build these routines with Obsidian. So you never miss a night. So you start building consistency. You start showing up and delivering. Hit subscribe, turn on the notifications because you do not want to miss the next one. Don't leave tomorrow to chance, right? Don't wait for the perfect day. Sleep on it, but sleep on it knowing you can rest well. And I'll see you in the comments.